Hi, welcome back. Today, I'm going to take you through Portland Leather's outlet store. It was my first time visiting their outlet. I had seen pictures before, but didn't realize how big this building was. The first floor was their showroom, and I believe the second floor was their office. And it seems they have a storeroom at the back. I thought I would spy on them to see any cool colors laying at the back. Now, time to go in to check out the store. They have this cool signage behind the checkout. And let's go visit the Pixie. Look at that fancy Pixie wall. Pixie is a unicorn and also an icon for their store. I thought to write on the unicorn, but I didn't want to break Pixie's back. I did say hi to Pixie and give it a rub. Hopefully, I'll get lucky with my next mystery box. I probably spent too much time checking her out. I had been wanted to visit Portland Leather's outlet store. So this was like a dream come true for me. The whole experience was magical. I wish I lived closer. But then, I'll be in trouble, right? Can you imagine how many bags I would buy? Portland Leather is new in making shoes. But look at these shoes. The quality, the color, the style. They are pretty consistent. Look at all these options. They definitely make more shoes for the ladies. And I'm jealous. I wish they would make more men's shoes, but hopefully in the future. Not sure if they had all the colors on display, but I thought I would go through them so that you kind of get an idea how they look like in real life. If you have been considering getting a pair of their shoes, don't wait, because sometimes they get out of stocks fast. I have a few pairs myself. So far, they have been great. I enjoy shoes and boots that I bought from Portland Leather. Look at how beautiful this green is. I'm obsessed. I want to get a pair of these, even though this design for women, I think I may be able to squish in them. Other than their sneakers, I also love the look of their Chelsea boots. Look at this beautiful suede leather. It's so luxurious looking. The latte color is great too. If you need something other than black, these are good option. Compared to women's shoes, you don't get as much option for men's. I own a pair of their breaker boots and they are comfortable and I love the look of it. Look at this Highland Brown leather. I think we need this leather in back as well. The good thing about visiting their store is you are able to touch the leather, the shoes, the bags so that you know how the material feels. For example, this beige canvas low top sneaker, the material feels more durable in my hand. And I was actually wearing their low top sneaker in honey color while visiting their store. These are comfortable and easily match my outfit. That's why I brought them along on this trip. The other benefit of visiting their store is you will be able to try on these shoes so that you would know which size fits you better. Overall, I do think that their sizing is pretty consistent with most American shoes. But sometimes, you wear different thickness of socks. So by trying them on, you will get a better idea of which size fits you. While I was there, I decided to try their Chelsea boots in Kenyan leather. And it was bad for me because they felt so comfortable. It was love at first try. I definitely want a pair of this. Sometimes it's hard to get it right with Chelsea boots, but this pair was perfect. It's not too narrow and my feet felt very comfortable. The problem of visiting their store is you will spend a lot of money because there are so many things that you can buy. Look at all these accessories on display. I want to buy one of each, maybe two, maybe three. The leather on them feels so good. And then hanging up high were their hats and their Nora shoulder bag. You would see similar design with other companies, but with Portland leather, you get high quality full grain leather. And here are some of their canvas bags. The material feels strong, but not overly thick. So it should be lightweight enough for your everyday use. I have their canvas duffel bag, and I use that whenever I go camping. It is so durable and it has been holding up well. As you can imagine, it can be rough with camping environment. So far, no damage after a few camping trips. On this rack, you see their bucket backpack, their tote backpack, their laptop backpack, and their roll top backpack. These are all in different sizes, so depending on your needs, you will find one that works for you. Personally, I love their roll top backpack, and I use it all the time. And we also see some toaster crossbody bag hanging beside the rack. For all the Portland leather lovers, you probably don't need explanation on these tote bags. I'm sure you all are very familiar with this. I think at some point, I want to get an oversized tote in honey leather. I love how it age and patina. When I look at the circle bags online, 
I thought it won't hold its shape. But looking that in real life, I think some of the ladder will be able to hold up better. For example, the deep water and the canyon ladder, they both feel solid. I think it will stay in this beautiful circular shape for a long time. If you don't want the shape of the bag get distorted, definitely consider more structured ladder that they offer. Since they use full grain ladder to make their bags, sometimes you would find a variety of texture on certain ladder. So by visiting their outlet store and their retail stores, you will be able to look through all the bags and find one that you love the most. And they do have a table for unicorn items. So if you like something more colorful other than brown, I would encourage you to take a trip to their outlet store. And definitely take your time because I was busy filming, I didn't buy enough. For example, I forgot to purchase a couple of these tassels. I wanted to get the blue and the green one, but I totally forgot about it when I done filming. Well, I guess I have to revisit again sometime soon. While looking at their bags at the store, I love some of the leather texture. For example, this yellow color one, I'm not sure the name of this leather, but I love the texture and it felt so good. I love heavy texture like this because it's unique on its own. I think this was probably their storm leather. It felt so soft. After looking at one in person, I have been thinking about adding one into my collection. And not just bags, you will find colorful accessories on this table as well. I forgot to ask that if they have a limit on how many unicorn totes you can buy. Looking at these bags, luckily I didn't live nearby, otherwise I would at least buy once a week. When I was visiting their store, I got the opportunity to talk to their social media team. I can confirm that they were just as nice as when we talked to them on Facebook. All the people who worked there were really welcoming and friendly, making me felt like part of their family. I'm so in love with their ladder. Look at this one. Seriously, you have to visit their store. If you are like me who love heavy texture, it was like heaven. So many of them have amazing leather texture. I couldn't stop touching the ladder. For that reason, I highly recommend you plan a trip to Portland to visit their store and to eat so many great restaurants around as well. Back to the unicorn table, and here are some leather journal cover. These are also beautiful. If you are collecting notebook cover, you will have trouble deciding which one. I definitely regret didn't pick up that avocado one. I should have got it to match my new bag. That green is so gorgeous. And then we have deep water leather snap journal. I love this color with snap journal. If they start to sell all this color on their website, I probably would collect them all even though I can only use one or two at a time. Since I had collaborated with Portland Leather in the past, they also gifted me some goodies while visiting their store. They were so generous for me to try out some of their new products. For that reason, I didn't buy as much because my luggage had limited space. I had definitely considered buying some and then ship them back to myself. But since I had a tight schedule, I just didn't have time to go to post office or UPS or FedEx. Otherwise, I would have put together a big box and ship it back to myself. So many goodies I wanted to buy. If you are new to Portland leather, majority of their bags are made with full grain leather. The pebble leather texture you see is the result of tumbling the leather in a barrel. And most of their leathers don't have thick coating like your designer bags. For that reason, they could get scarf mark easier compared to your designer handbags. Just like if I get scratched by my cats or my dogs, I will get marks on my skin. The leather texture on most designer handbags are so perfect and even looking, that's because those were pressed on texture. And many of them are coated with some kind of plastic material. That's why they are more scratch resistant. With full grain leather, each bag is unique on its own because it showcases the unique texture of the piece of leather. With natural material like this, you would sometimes see scratch marks from butt wire, stretch marks, leather striation, or butt bites on the leather. If you use your bag consistently, your bag is likely to look very different after a period of time. Your bag will develop more texture and patina uniquely based on how you use your bag. That's why sometimes people say your bag tells stories about your life. Even though their full grain leather bags are near indestructible, but some of the tote bags do have corner wear issues. A lot of people ask me about that 
and they are actually avoidable. Depending on how frequently you use your totes, you can lightly condition the corners. That way you can give the corners extra protection and it won't show corner wears easily. If you need recommendation, check out the leather care products that Portland Leather just released recently. Those are great for protecting your bags while your bags patina gracefully. I do have some of the leather care products that I can show you how well they work in my future videos. Back to looking at the products, these are large canvas bags that you can only get at the outlet store. It's great for going to farmer's market or a trip to the beach. You can also use it to protect your leather bags when you are traveling in an airplane. I have always wanted more colors, but after visiting their outlet store and their retail stores, I found myself drawn to some of the basics. Those basic colors like the browns and the black, those are really timeless and they will forever work well with whatever outfits I have. Even though right now, I love to have more colors, but ultimately, I want to collect all their basic colors. I want more bags in honey leather, cognac leather, grizzly leather, and the black. For example, I couldn't stop myself from admiring this pebble leather large Lola crossbody bag. It looks so sophisticated and I absolutely love the texture. And I did a quick test to see if the black color rubbed off on my finger. So far, the smooth black and the pebble leather large Lola bag I tested didn't have the color transfer issue. I guess you will see me buying some black leather bags from them soon. The design of their Lola bag, especially the small version, is very similar to Marc Jacobs tote bag. I do love my Marc Jacobs tote bag, but I am aware that it does have thick, heavy polyurethane coating. Personally, I would rather buy more Lola bags. I prefer my bags to not have thick polyurethane coating on them. In addition, you also get an exterior pocket on these Lola bags that can fit your phone easily. Also, at the outlet, they have an as is table. That means you will find bags that with more scuff marks, wrinkles, and leather textures. These are great if you are on a budget. Most of these bags just need some leather conditional. These are great value and I totally would buy them myself. The outlet store is huge. Walking through the stores, I kept finding things I like. For example, this Dakota leather dop kit. I love how the golden leather looks. Usually, the stores open at 11 a.m. So if you are planning your visit, you do want to go there early while they just open because the store did get crowded at noon time. If you are looking for some unicorn leather tote bags, it's better to get there early so that you have options. For some of the unique unicorn colors, only a few of them available. So you may miss out if you get there late later in the afternoon. Especially if you are visiting from out of state, there were so many products to look through. You do need that extra time to think, to try things out before you made up your mind. One thing I really wanted to try was their leather jacket. Even though the price was more affordable compared to many other companies, I still wanted to try it out before buying. I needed to see the leather material, the craftsmanship in person. After looking through their leather jackets, I was quite impressed by the quality. Particularly, I love that green bomber jacket. The suede leather felt so nice and soft to touch. These are going to be comforting pieces to wear during cold weather season. My plan is to pick up the green Burnside bomber jacket and the umber color overshirt. Also, the women's Nova motor jacket was extremely well made. I love that boxy cut and shorter length. It will give you a better proportion. You can tell I spent a lot of time looking at their leather jackets. Because to many people, leather jacket is like an investment piece. So you want something that you can wear for a long time. By looking at their designs, I'm glad to report back that those are really timeless design. They are unique but not overcomplicated. Regardless of what personal style you have, these are great pieces to have in your wardrobe. By now, you probably know that I wish I could buy them all, but I have to save my budget for the bags, right? In the last 12 months or so, I noticed that Portland Leather had launched many new products and they will have more coming. One thing that I didn't expect them to release is the rainbow fringe leather jacket. It wasn't something I was able to buy while visiting the store, but they did have it on display. If you want to wear your unicorn totes in style, you need this jacket. It may look like a regular jacket from the front, but 
At the back is a totally different story. Look at those beautiful rainbow color leather fringes. This is going to be a showstopper leather jacket. It's so fun and stylish. I can't wait to see you all wear it and style it when it's out and available. You all will have to share pictures with me. This is definitely the ultimate unicorn piece. I wish I could spend more time there, but as you can see here, I did have a handful leaving the store. Please subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye!